All right, do we have sound now? Hang on, guys, we should. I'm on my auxiliary, I'm on my mic. So just hang tight for a second. Yes, thank you. Okay, whoa. Oh, well, now that perfectly leads into what I have to tell you guys. So anyhow, the paper's in front of me just so that we've got that. Um, if, if, this is a big if, guys, okay? I always have these great big huge ifs. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Diane. Oh, thanks, Dee Dee. Yeah, I really chopped it off this time, didn't I? Hi, Debbie. Oh, fantastic, Cindy. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Ruth. Okay, I got to make one more adjustment here so that I can see what's going on. Hang on just a second. Okay, I I have to adjust all these things. You guys wouldn't believe what I go, what this is all about. Oh, Gail, I didn't realize you were getting to go to Cape May this weekend. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wonderful, guys. Okay. So, anyhow, um, you will be happy to know that if everybody lets me do my work this week, which so far it's it's looking like I'm going to be able to work all week, um, I will have the third quarter quilt done. I have all the measurements done. I have it all laid out. I know exactly how we're sewing it together. The tree actually is done. But, um... But it, it actually looks like it's finally going to happen. I can let you in on one of the requirements right now, and that is, um, what are you sorry about, BJ? Hi, Libby. Hi, Deb. Hi, Kaylee. Um, 14 fat quarters is what it takes to do the third quarter quilt. And again, guys, I am really sorry for the delay in getting this out to you. It has just been crazy. And I do mean crazy. Um, first thing I'm going to do is say to everybody, if there's anybody here that does not like the live session, go ahead and sign off. I have no problems. I completely understand. This is for some people and it's not for everybody. So uh, stay tuned on Tuesday will be Quick Tip Tuesday. And on Friday um, will be part two of the Maxwell bag because my bag's all done and I absolutely positively I'm in love with it. I use it every day. It comes back and forth to the studio with me and I am absolutely thrilled. Hi Deb. Hi from Jamaica. Holy cow. Life happens. It really does. It, life does happen. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's let's back up. Um, my daughter and her husband and my three grandchildren have started um, their trek back to um, the lower, as it's called up in Alaska, I learned very quickly, we are the lower 48. Doesn't matter where we live in the United States of America, if we are below Canada, we are lower 48 and that's how we're classified. So, um, Susan, um, I will email you privately. Yes, I did. I know exactly what it's going to cost, and we are good to go. All right, so I will find that out. Oh, and the Canada people, um, I had originally set a price, and that seems to be exactly where it's falling in. I have one more route to check, and I'm actually hoping that I can do that tomorrow morning because I do have to go out. So that will be, that will work out really good. So Susan, you're set. We're good with you. Um, let's see. Hello from India. Get on with it and fix te the tech support. Is there an issue with tech still? Because we're, we're doing good. Okay, we're all set. Any chance for Europe? Becky, um, Becky, you wanted the kit, correct? The Notions kit? I, I believe I have a price. Lindsay, would you write down Becky 
so that I make sure that I double check that I've got Becky's price last week or not, okay? Hi, Lori from California. Oh, Becky, you only wanted the pattern. Okay, Lindsay, write down, Becky, just the pattern. And then there is someone from um, the Netherlands who wanted two patterns, and I'm still trying to get a better price. So double check. I got to double check that one too, Linz. Linz isn't in here with me today. Linz is at home. So we're there. Hello from smoky British Columbia. Hi, Sammy. So my kids started their truck home. They left Fairbanks, Alaska Saturday morning, and they are on their way back to the lower 48. They are coming down through Canada. They went through the Yukon Territory um, yesterday. Today they're only doing five hours on the road, and then tomorrow... I think they're going to be in Dawson Creek, Canada. So for anybody that's on here from Canada, my kids are going to be coming through there um, here pretty shortly. They are on their way home, and I am a nervous wreck until they get there. I am just, I'm a nervous wreck. I, I just, I hate the kids coming across the country. Um, I think I'll feel better once they're back in the United States, only because I worry because they got three little kids with them and it's a huge drive. So uh, bear with me because I am stressed and um, I could cry with them coming home. It just, I'm so happy they're coming back to the lower 48. So anyhow, that takes care of that. The next thing I wanted to tell you guys is the reason why this speaker wasn't working when I first got on is because I actually courtesy of one of our fellow people here on this channel and she's on our Facebook page she can't hear or see you Lindsay see um oh Susan that's exciting our kids are the same place Lindsay's texting me I think hang on guys oh I don't think I can reach it from here come on phone um Okay. Um, sorry about that. Lindsay's texting me because she's from home. Usually she just tells me these things. Oh, Susan, that's really cool that your son and his wife are in Canada. That is cool. Um, Dee Dee, you're supposed to be piecing lion's quilt, but you can't find your, I suspect that means piecing foot. Okay. Um, the, the person that's having a difficult time and can't hear, try restarting um, your YouTube. Maybe that'll help. Okay. She had to re Deb had to restart too. Oh, and Angela's going away on a work trip starting Thursday. Wow, everybody's getting really busy. There's something about August that just brings on all kinds of things that you have to do. So, um... Someone in this in our group between here and in Facebook got a hold of Leah Day and said suggested that Leah interview me. Well, lo and behold, last week I had oh a good hour conversation with Leah Day, and I have to tell you, she is just so wonderful. I was an absolute nervous wreck. But she was just unbelievable. She was so kind and so generous and, and just an absolute sweetheart. I, and guys, I cannot wait for you guys. Lindsay, you got to leave me alone. I cannot wait for you guys to hear the interview because it was, I think it was absolutely wonderful. We just, I had met her. I think four years ago at Quilt Market, and she just, she was wonderful. And and obviously, she did not remember me. There would be no reason why she would. And she was just as sweet when I met her. Her husband and I shared the elevator down to the convention center um, multiple times, absolute multiple times. And he was just a sweetheart too. Just, 
they are exactly what they appear, which I think is wonderful. I just, I really, really enjoyed her. So on her Hello Quilting Friends, I will be on it, I think it's August 23rd. I will make sure that everybody knows ahead of time when I am. So um, I was really excited. That's why the volume wasn't working on my computer because oh, it's, it's confusing. There's a program that I have to use to be able to go live and that program was conflicting. I had, so I had to turn it off. So now it's up and oh, it was just the best interview and I just enjoy talking to her so much. So that's coming up the end of this month, which I'm obviously really, really excited about. So what's going on with you guys? How's the Maxwell bag going for everybody? Everybody getting at, at it? September, husband and Teresa. Oh, September, husband and I and friends are going to Redwoods in California. That is beautiful. What about the microphone? That was, oh, Lee and I had a terrible time trying to sync up in and I still to this day don't know why she was using Skype. I saw your order, Nancy. It'll be, it'll ship out, I think, tomorrow, if not Tuesday. But it should be there really soon. Leah is young. She is definitely young. She's, um, so that was really cool. And then, um, so we tried to talk. We couldn't talk. And I don't know why, because I use FaceTime on my computer all the time to talk with Jackie, but we were using Skype. Well, when I downloaded Skype, there was an interference. We finally, Lindsay ran over and got that fixed. We ended up doing it through Facebook, um, FaceTime, because it just was easier. So that's what we did. Lindsay's almost done cutting the rest of the kits. Lindsay's doing um, the fabric kits for me. I had run out of fabric, and I will be honest with you guys, I think the toll now today is when this one gets all done, I'm only going to have six kits of the fabric left. I believe that's the correct number. I don't think I'll have any more than that, and I do not anticipate being able to get another shipment of it. So if you were kind of on the fence about your fabric, please get it ordered because um, I don't believe I'm going to be able to get it again, and I've got six kits left. I think it's six. So there's that. Um, let's see. Yeah, Lindsay should be done with them in the next day or two. She has been fighting with a um, robe. She's trying to make robes for her girlfriend's wedding, and it has been just a, a nightmare. She's had a terrible time with the neck band. They had her cut it on the straight of grain instead of on the bias. And I just think, um, I just think that she's having a hard time. Teresa, there are two separate parts to the bag order. One part is the notions kit, which includes the pattern, the soft and stable, the cording, and the feet, and the Tim text that's needed to make the bag. Then there is the fabric kit. And that's the fabrics based on how I did the kit up, how I made my bag. And um, let's see, I'm trying to find out. And I think that's it. And then I also did put up the pattern. But if you order the Notions kit, you don't need the pattern. So that's where, yeah. Oh, Diane, I understand that replacing that type, that, that, um, Tablet part. I had to replace my tablet last year, the year before, and it's expensive. Um, let's see. Angela wants to know how is it that I can post pictures on our group because I can't post like everyone else. Therefore, I was only able to post one of my bags. Angela, you should be able to post because you're a full member of the group. You should be able to post anything. Yeah. <laughs> Diane is listening to the conversation, going through quilt magazines to find a quilt, and reading the conversations at the same time. 
Um, yeah, we're going to have, we have, it's quilting cotton that we're doing. And I, because she's using quilting cotton, she probably should have done it on the bias. But she'll bring the pattern over eventually and I'll help her through it. Um, you have to pick, Nancy says you have, Angela, you ha need to pick the group in order to post there. Oh, okay. Now I understand, Nancy. Thank you. I had the worst time with that. Lindsay, I didn't realize that. When you guys are posting, we have multiple places to post it to. And Nancy's right. You've got to tell them you want it posted in that group. Okay, Angela, um, yeah, there's some way around it, and, and I don't know how to tell you it verbally, Angela, but there's a way, I have a drop-down menu, so what I do is I go to um, Miss Marcus, or Margaret Lewin Quilting, and I post right there. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, Shirley Johnston, and Gail's working on her knitting. Did everybody see that when Gail makes a quilt, she makes an afghan that coordinates with it? It's They're just beautiful. I just love them. <laughs> Her yarn is gorgeous, Lindsay. She told me where she got it from once, and now I forgot. I should have written it down. Oh, thank you, Mom. I know you like my hair short. I like it, too. You know... The only person in my family that noticed that I cut my hair off was my grandson, Austin. Me. No one else noticed. Austin was the only one. Me. Me. Guess what our facings. Then my 40-year-old daughter would not know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. Mom, did you hear me say the kids made it to their first stop safely last night? So they're on their way to their second stop, and I'm not sure where that one is. Oh, good, Gail. Um, send it to me, but also put it in our page because I can't believe there are other people that don't um don't knit too. So that was cool. That would be really cool. Oh. Anita had her surgery, and all is progressing well. Very good. Everybody's getting getting ready for fall, I think. I know I am. I'm ready for fall. And we didn't have much of a summer. No sewing yet. How much longer, Angela, before you can sew? Or Annette, Anita, before you can sew? Pat likes my hair, too. Thank you. <laughs> Didi got a quarter inch foot, so now she's working on her lion's quilt. Oh, Teresa's working on a hope quilt with a green ribbon in the middle for her son. He recently had a major car accident is recovering from a TBI. I don't know what a TBI is. Oh, Teresa, our prayers are with him. I hope he does very, very well. Please. Oh, Anita, six weeks of no sewing? Yee. Can, you can't do hand sewing either, right? Oh, Gail's, Gail's afghans are absolutely positively adorable. You guys will love it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guys, Um, some real prayers out there for Teresa's son, please. All right, he could use some, please. Susan, Bear, Susan Berry's working on bags and more bags for Cancer Charity Coffee Morning at her work. Oh, that's neat that you do that at work. That's cool. Um, Donna, thank you. Um, you're wondering if heavy-duty fabric for the outside fabric so it's sturdy. If you wanted to use heavy duty like um, upholstery fabric or drapery fabric for the outside of the Maxwell bag, I do not see any reasons why you can't. One of the things that I will um, tell all of you guys about the Maxwell bag, and I'm pretty certain that I said it in the tutorials, is 
When they tell you to trim back your seams, please do it. That's not a step that you want to want to skip at all. You want to do that, okay? Teresa's son is getting stronger every day. That's really good. I'm thrilled to hear that. But please keep up the prayers for him, guys. He's getting stronger every day. He's learning to walk and talk all over again. Oh, wow. That's a kudos to him and lots and lots of prayers. Didi, I never could crochet or could knit is all I could do was crochet. And I recently have started to learn. And then, um, and, and I really am starting to enjoy it. I don't get to do much of it, but I do enjoy it. I tend to take that is take projects with me. Oh no, mom, sewing machine's not gone. It's right there still. I didn't sell it. It's right there behind me. Oh, my serger is gone. Yes, um, my daughter has my serger. Yes. Yep, my daughter has my serger. <laughs> Arlene is working on two dolls, cowgirl and cowboy. She can't remember the name of them. Hey, guys, would you please, um, Arlene, make sure you post a picture in our group so that we can see it, please. <laughs> Kaylee is on her way to a local quilt shop. She ran out of thread while quilting a wedding gift. Thank you. She said she likes my hair too. I really do. Um, Angela wants to know how many people are making the Maxwell bag and patchwork. If, if I am um, allowed to be included, my second one is going to be in patchwork. Kids, you can walk in. I have my grandchildren this weekend. They are, um, their parents are at the race. So, makes my back surgery seem like a walk in the park for Annette. She says, I have been so dependent on my sister and my husband, but nothing like Teresa's son must be going through. You're right. It, I My heart goes out to them. Lindsay is mastering my surgery before I am. Pamela enjoys crocheting dolls. Uh, congratulations, Lindsay Surgeway. Yes, I know, but but Nancy, I kind of like my surgery back. <laughs> um, let's see. Is it here? Um, let's see. No signal. Mine's still good, guys. I'm watching it. I'm still in the green. So I've got signal. You guys can come in. My grandchildren are going to walk in for a second. Let's see. I bought one and took it back and couldn't figure out. Donna says she bought a serger and she took it back because she couldn't figure out about the threading and using it. They aren't easy at all. Yeah. Oh, Susan Berry has her grandchildren there too. Come on, you two can peek in here and say hi and then you're back out with Papa. There's Natalie and there's Austin. Nat, come back here. <gasps> Last night, do you remember the old pin curls where you took a piece of the hair? I don't know if I can do it. And then you twirled it, and then you wrapped it around, and you bobby pinned it, making an X with the bobby pin. I did Natalie's hair last night. We spent probably about 40 minutes doing her hair up in curls last night. So. Mm. Is it alright if Natalie stays here? Yes, because Natalie can stay here. We're going to the waterfall. Okay, they're going over to the property to the waterfall. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to go? No? Okay. Uh, you can, you got to go get something to do here, though, to keep yourself busy. In here, though? Yep, in here, so I can keep an eye on you. Okay? Can I color over there? Absolutely, positively. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, have fun. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Um, let's see. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I can brawl Planning a quilt trip through Missouri this week. Debbie's going to Missouri. Yeah, you're right, Nancy. Good luck getting it back. I know she'll let me borrow it, but holy cow. When I'm out here in an off time, it's not easy. So, they, mine are 10 and 6, these two. Austin's 10, Natalie's 6. Yep. Gypsy, Gypsy's mom, she loves to knit. She uses circular needles when knitting straight. 
Very convenient when in the car. Gypsy's mom, I do the same thing. I only use circular needles. That's all I've ever done. Thank you, guys. I think they're pretty sweet. My mom used to do pin curls in my poker straight hair when I was little, but no success. I do. Okay, guys, I'm going to age myself here a little bit. Do you guys remember Dippity Doo? It was that blue stuff that you put in your hair so that it would stay curled. Well, <laughs> I went to the drugstore last night to find something like Dippity Doo, and I did. And we put that in her hair, and it worked. <laughs> Angela, I know. In Lindsay's defense, were you using it? I want to buy a serger only after seeing a YouTube video that was very informative. In, in Lindsay's defense, I wasn't using it. So that's why it's still over there. First time for, I missed the name. Um, first time for Sherry for the live. Oh, see, I you guys do remember that we're all the same age. Yes, and the spoolies. That's right, Deb. All you got to do is dippity do it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Thank you, Angela. She is adorable. Yep. So I wanted to try to find dippity do. Well, there was this clear stuff. It was in the discount section. It was 50% off and it worked. It really helped a lot. Yeah. Yes. Um, Natalie doesn't sew yet. Um, Natalie six and um, not yet she doesn't but I wouldn't I would imagine that she will as time goes on I've done rag curls in fact I did rag curls Debbie Rhodes mentioned rag cur curls I did those on Lion once and they were just adorable and Lion is very very curly hair so it was wonderful um let's see Maloney from Jamaica said that she's a fairly new quilter, just trying to find her way around. She's learning from watching channels like mine. She doesn't have any guilds or quilt shops in Jamaica. Oh, that's sad. Well, just keep putting pictures up and we'll help you through stuff. Debbie Rhodes, my sister, did juice cans. She did juice cans to straighten it because it was so curly. Peggy used curls that you wrapped around your hair and then you bent the ends up. I remember those. Hi, Sherry. Lindsay's dress was really cute. You use, oh, Diane uses mousse now instead of do. Dippity do. Uh, so we did her hair last night and she was very, very patient while I sat there and pin curled that whole thing up. Debbie, I've never seen, Debbie's got a baby lock serger that hairs air threading. I've never seen that. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, my sister used soup cans, or not soup cans, she used orange juice cans. Yep. <laughs> Nancy gave up and just cut her hair short. Well, that's the easiest thing to do sometimes, huh? What do you do? These kids, I can hear them off in the, off talking. I think Austin's trying to convince La and Natalie to go with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, they're going to my favorite place today. They the are waterfall. going to the waterfalls. So I just, they're going to have fun. I do too. Yeah, many of us are YouTube taught. My daughter, Tracy, wasn't certain how to French braid hair with three little girls that were only three years apart. Sorry, I didn't, um, most of the time their hair was short. It wasn't, wasn't very long. So Tracy didn't know how to do French braids. So she sat down with YouTube and um, that taught her how to French braid Nat's hair. The pink spun rollers. I remember those things. Have Papa come back and ask her, Austin. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So we got Natalie's hair all done last night. It's straightening up a little bit, but it's still got a nice little wave to it. Yeah. Um, Teresa says to Melanie, I'm fairly new quilter as well. I learned everything from videos 
from video. She says, I like to say I have a bachelor degree in YouTube. I think that's great. Oh, Teresa, do you guys remember that pink tape that was the hair tape that you could use? She says she still has it. Tracy is a big time crafter. She does um, pa paper crafting. She makes cards and that kind of stuff. But lately, her kids have gotten to the point where they're pretty involved in sports. So she tends to not be able to get as much done. Oh, Austin's baiting his sister with catching frogs. Come on, Matt, please. So there. Um, Sherry says, Margaret, I love your hair that length. And you stunning the other day when I watched your video. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. So that's what's going on. I'm trying to think what else we've got going. Because we're getting to the end of August, um... Oh, Annette's making, working on shortening three of her dad's pants. He's 92 years old. Also making the waist smaller. There's a lot of, yeah, ew, that's tough. I know that. It, her dad's been ill and he's lost a lot of weight. So now they're also, she has to um, shorten them, but she also has to bring in the waist. Bye, Sammy. Sammy's got to go. She, Her kids have found an injured bird that she needs to take to her local wildlife rehabber. Good for you. Charlotte's from Syracuse. Kaylee said she always did overnight rag curls. This haircut look makes me look younger. Wow. I'll never let it grow long again. Bye, Sammy. Have a good day. Syracuse, that's not far from me, Charlotte, at all. Oh, Nancy Rinker says her dad was thrilled to get the sailboat quilt. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, yep, the, the next one that we're doing, well, first of all, what's going on now is this Friday, Tuesday will be quick tip. Friday will be, let's see, what fri Friday will be the Maxwell bag, and it's actually finishing it, okay? That, this bag only required two videos, so that's what we're going to be doing. So, um, I got to stop reading for a second, so sorry guys if I don't answer your questions for a minute. So this Friday is going to be the second and final half of the Maxwell bag, okay? So Tuesday's quick tip, Friday's Maxwell bag. The next Tuesday is quick tip. The next Friday is the first installment of AJ's Tree, okay? So that will be AJ's Tree, and we will make the tree first, and then we make the packages in three segments, so when I make the packages in three segments, so it'll be a total of four videos, and I will do them fr one Friday right after the other. So you'll have them four, or it'll be actually five in a row. The quilt is five different sections. So it's the tree, a package set, a package set, a package set, and a package set. So that's how that one's going. And then after that one is going to be a really quick, simple, it's um, with the K-Facet fabric, I think it's called Citrus, that I have. That one's going to be right after that. So that'll be about the middle of September. I figure we'll need something very, very quick to do then, just something fun, and that's it. Then... Um, after that, we are going to jump right into the final quarter quilt for 2017, which the example quilt is done. So that one, I think actually Lindsay had offered to do that. Yes, and in September, there's new Tula coming. So that'll be fun. So that's what's coming up, right?
yeah, I think that's all the stuff that's coming up. The biggest thing is the um, third quarter quilt. That one definitely is coming up very, very soon because we need it. Bye, Susie. You have a good day. Oh, Barbara started because of Stash and Dash. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Lindsay said she did notice my... The next video for the Bag Angela is going to be this coming Friday. Okay, we're going to do them one right after the other on this one. One of the um things, I did not put in the video anything about quilting it. What I did instead was I linked below the beetle bag. Because on the Maxwell bag, you can quilt it any way you want to. So that's what I did for that one. All right? So you can just... Just grab that one. Um, let's see what's going on here. I gotta make sure my streaming is still healthy. So, yep, that's the next. So that's the next quilt. Um, let's see. Connecting threads have a quilt similar to Layer Cake Love called Skyscrapers. Oh, cool! I have to go look. Tula. Tula is coming to visit or what? Oh, I wish she would, but no, she's not. We just have more of Tula's fabric coming in. Um, I don't remember exactly what. I think it's the animal, nature animal. Which one is it, Lindsay, that's coming? Oh, Sherry said she found the, a video of me doing binding. She must say it's the easiest way ever. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Um, that's one of the quick tips. One that's coming up is how to calculate out the amount of backing fabric you need. And the other one is how to calculate how much binding you need. So, yes, we do have a quilt planned for the Tula Pink, which will be fun. Yes. Is it hard, Susan, to get Tula's fabric in UK? I wondered if it was. But you know what? You guys have fabrics over there that we've just now starting to get. Like um, the lawn fabrics, there's a couple of them for dressmaking that are just gorgeous. Liberty of London, we love that fabric here. We have a hard time getting it. And then when we do, it's really expensive. Oh, I quilted the patchwork one exactly like the pattern. Okay, that was a good idea, Angela. This next one, I'm my next Maxwell bag, I want to experiment with a bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the long arm and I want to block off different blocks so that I have a real um, variation to what I'm quilting. <laughs> That's true, Susan. You may have to ask me if I have any extra fat quarter bundles because I have a feeling that Lindsay was here when I ordered the Tula fabric, so I think I got a little bit more than what I was expecting. I start. Deb started a disappearing nine patch so easily I couldn't so easy, I couldn't do it. Now I'm designing my own with half square triangles since I already cut all my fabric squares. Deb, I have a terrible time with patterns too. Liberty Lawn is wonderful. Oh my God, those are gorgeous fabrics. Yeah, they are beautiful. Is it expensive there? About how much do you guys pay for a yard of it there? I wondered how much Liberty cost in the UK. Yeah, everything is expensive. Well, but I feel like everything's expensive here in the in the United States, too. You like it when mom makes her patterns. Yeah, I know. I've had Liberty Fabric in my stash for 20 years. You're kidding me. Yes, and it's by the meter. It's not by the yard. Yeah, I knew that. I just, I love the fabric. Last year when... I went to New York City once. They had, um, wow, meters, one meter in the ne Netherlands, you pay 18 to 19 euros. Holy Toledo, okay. 
when I went down into the um, garment district in New York City, they had just some of the most beautiful fabrics. I wanted to spend two whole days, if not four whole days, going through the fabric garment district down in New York City. I loved it. So it is one yard less six inches. Yes, I believe so. One meter is one meter is three point two eight yards. Okay. Twenty four pounds. Wow. Yeah, it gets confusing when we start changing during the um, currency exchange. So 19 euros, 19 in Europe is like 22 in U.S. dollars. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, if anybody knows. Oh, okay. So feet. So you guys have got a little bit more in than we do. Okay, sorry. Okay, that makes sense because to us, three feet is a yard. So what you're getting for a meter is three feet and three inch. Okay, yep. So your meter is a little bit more than our yard. Okay. Okay, double. Okay. Um, one meter is 39 minus four. Okay. Uh, Guild. Gilda is another fabric designer that we cannot get in the States. And it's beautiful fabric. I haven't seen that fabric, Jill. Please let me see what it looks like. 39 inches to the meter. Okay. That I understand. You can count on about $10 a yard here in Texas. Guys, the fabric that I've been getting, like the one for the... um. Maxwell bag, that was $11 a yard for that fabric. I'm sorry, I'm talking so much, but this is my first time making it live. Sherry says she's sorry that she's talking so much, but it's her first time live. And she wants to make a sewing table like my husband made mine. Okay, love him to make a video of that. Well, Sherry, he didn't make it. Um, we had a contractor that came in and helped me in the studio, and it was actually my design. So, um... I don't know, I don't remember how much detail I went into on it, but we're going to take a, we'll take a break from sewing and I'll explain my sewing table to everybody again. I think I can even, it's, yeah, this part, okay, so this wood part, the only thing it is, is a piece of plywood. It's a one inch plywood. So we took the plywood and then we took my sewing machine, which is right here. I think you can see it. Yep. See my sewing machine? And we put my sewing machine down on the table along with the extension plate, which is this plastic you're seeing me touch. All right. And he measured all of those so that my sewing machine would sit there. Then he measured down. And I think it's, oh, where's my ruler? I think it's like uh, like three and three quarters inches deep. And he just made a shelf there for my sewing machine to sit in. Okay. Just a shelf that it sits in. And then what we did was we put legs underneath that end of it, the far end of it, to hold it. Because it's a sheet of plywood. And he did cut off one end a little bit. And then on each side here and here, he I have IKEA drawer cabinets, and the, and we just screwed it down to the IKEA drawer cabinets, and then that's what I ended up with. It it just it is the nicest sewing table. There's one change that I would make, okay? Because I am right-handed, all right. I would make my left side a little bit wider okay it is I don't have a ruler long enough I don't know how, it's maybe 18 inches over here I would make it a little bit longer okay 
And I would also put a little bit of an L here to hold the fabric so that when I'm doing binding, it's a little bit easier. Okay. That's, the, yeah. And yes, Deb Keller, the drawers are the Alex five drawer units. They work perfectly. I have, I'm looking at my labels. I have thread in one, all of my Bernina feet in another one. I have needles in another one, sewing notions in another one. And then over on the right side, I keep my sewing plugs. I keep my elastic. I keep my hand sewing things. Then I have a pencil drawer. I have a Velcro and a zipper drawer, all that stuff. Oh, hi, Brenda. Tell her, she, Brenda, if you, you can join the live chat if she opens the video in YouTube. Yeah. Well, Brenda, I'm glad you're getting to at least see us. That's really cool. And the... Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, it's not hard to make. Don't, don't be intimidated by it. Oh, Anita, those Koala Studios are so nice. They are just... That's what inspired this. I wanted a koala set, but what I wanted was like $3,000, and I just, I couldn't do it. We were building the studio, and I just couldn't do it. So we did this, and I'm very, very happy with it. Nancy, I do the, Nancy said when she's sewing, she has her left side drawer open when she's doing binding. To support the quilt. And Nancy, I do that all the time. I open the drawer and my thread's in there. So it works out perfectly. Oh, that was... And Anita's husband got that for her for um, her birthday. Along with a new baby lock. Wow. <laughs> Playing Bob and Chicken. I think it's a losing battle. Poor Dee Dee. Cheryl just jumped in. She'll have to watch from the beginning later. Okay, please do. Yes, Anita has a fantastic husband. That's wonderful. Oh, thank you, Teresa. She says, don't forget the thumbs up. Sue Berry has a horn cabinet for both of her Bernina machines, and they're great. They are nice ones, too. Very nice. In fact, I think that's what my Bernina dealer sells is the horn cabinets. Yeah. Um, what are the bins behind me? The bins behind me are from the container store and they are Alpha, E-L-F-A. They have a sale twice a year in, and it's usually like 25 to 30% off. I mean, it's a substantial sale. So I got these one year and then I have, um, this depth of a drawer, this one, um, and that's what holds my long arm thread behind my long arm machine. Yeah. So, hi, Carol Ann. First timer. <laughs> Diane's got arrow cabinets. Big Bertha. It was only around 700 That's a lot better. Yeah. Dee Dee, show the bobbins who's the boss. And that's you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um... Anita stuck all of her bobbins on a long knitting needle to keep them contained. But if I, I need a new one in the beginning. Uh, oh, you want to see how I keep my bobbins contained, guys? Oops. These things are wonderful. I love them. They're, I think they're called bobbinettes. They're on my website. I know that. Oh, yeah, that Bernina is for sale. It Truly, it is, guys. So this is what it is, so you can see it. All right? You need to take this squishy part. Well, take that squishy part, and that squishy part goes down into your bobbin. Okay? And then you just take your bobbin and set it on top of it. And it keeps, look, they're all contained. I love them. Look at talk about perfection. That one's missing a bobbin. I don't know why, but it is. 
Every once in a while, I catch my grandchildren in here. They, yeah, they, there's one laugh in here. Here's another one. These things are the best. I love these things. I, I saw them at um, one of the markets, and I got them, and I just love them. They are fantastic. See? Look. Boom. They're all together. Um, you know what? Now that you say that, Susan said that they have massive bottoms, bobbins, and she hasn't worked out yet how to store them. I gotta check because I do actually have some here. I wonder if it works in them. Oh, I hope it does. Uh, there's a little bit of play with them, so they may fall off. So if you, yeah. There's a little bit of play. The bobbinis has to be, they have to adjust them for the big bobbins. These are the bobbins for the big Berninas. See, they're huge. They are, here's one, well, oh, here's how this lady did it. She tied it with a string. That would drive me crazy, though, guys. I couldn't do that. Yeah. That would drive me nuts. I couldn't do that. It works on the um it works on any spool of thread. She's only got those in there. Do I have a regular bobbin of thread? And I'll show you. Here's a clear monofilament. Let me see. I'll try it. I obviously haven't tried it. Yep, it'll work. So it also works on it. Bye, Gail. I have a um, Artista 165, and this one behind me is a, well, first of all, it's for sale. It's not mine, but I'm getting tempted as time goes on to actually use it, and, and I shouldn't. It's a, uh, Lindsay, do you remember what this one is? This one is the 830. So that's a that's a big one. That's the 830. Sewing the fourth triangle on this batch of 10 blocks, pray. You'll do great, Dee Dee. Honest. Susan has the 770. Yeah, Anita, they're really cool. I love them. You can do it, Dee Dee. Yes, they're called Bobinis, and they are on my website, guys. Um, the one behind me, I'd have to call her and double check. Um, when I talked to the Bernina dealer, he said it was right in line with what it was that they asked for it. So, Patricia, if you're interested in it, email me and I will double check with her tomorrow and find out how much she wants for it. <coughs> it barely has any hours on it. Barely any time at all. Brenda, don't be welcome first off. And second off, don't be overwhelmed. You will learn it. It'll come little bit by little. Don't don't be overwhelmed. No. Please don't. You can do anything. You should see, guys. I'm sitting here. And my granddaughter's sitting right there. She's got her chin on my sewing table. And she's just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm just watching you. Oh, you're just watching me? Okay, green eyes. Yeah. Oh, Deb, thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. Almost an hour later, I got on YouTube, and I can hear and see you. I got my Baxwell bag pa package, and I'm scared to death, so start it. Dear, don't be afraid to start it. You can do it. Really, you can. You just go one step at a time. Okay, your first step is to just get your fabric quilted. So go through your pattern and sew it and sort it all, okay, and, and get it sorted and then get the pieces quilted that you need to quilt and then just one little step at a time, okay? And if you have problems getting your fabric 
ready to quilt it, go back and watch the part one of um, the beetle bag and I'll show you exactly how I go about doing that. Hmm. That's right, Brenda. The, it's just like eating a steak, one bite at a time. Why do I like Bernina over Baby Lock? Um, I, I liked, when I researched how they were made, I liked how the Bernina was made, okay? Um, I had sewn on a Bernina, and I just simply felt more comfortable with it. I sewed on a baby lock, and while I liked it, I just didn't feel quite as comfortable as I did with this one. And I think that's really what sold me on it. My, um, my mother had a Husqvarna before, and about the same time that my mom switched over to um, her banana, that was about the same time that I bought mine. Yes, Lori, I quilted the fabric first, then I cut it. Okay. Oh. Yep, the Berninas are very heavy, and they do sew through, and they're wonderful to sew with. I had, my neighbor came over and sewed through her husband's leather jacket with my Bernina. It did do a thing to it. She put a leather needle in there, and it was great. Yeah. They are heavy, so to use it to go to classes, I wouldn't suggest it because they are very, very ha heavy. Um, Anita's having problems with, um, hang on, Anita, she says, I'm having a lot of trouble with my beetle bag. I had to rip it out already, and now I can't sew for a couple more weeks. Uh, Anita, if you still have problems with your beetle bag, okay, once you can start sewing again, Please get a hold of me because we can FaceTime or we can do some type of a video chat so that I can help you through it, okay? All right. Um, oh, Susan says she mends horse rugs on hers, and that's like sewing a tent. You're right. Yeah. Thank. Oh, good, Anita. If you please do. Yes, everybody, I do quilt my pieces before I cut them. If you notice in the video when I'm cutting them, they're already quilted, okay? So um, make sure that you do, okay? Anita, you go walk, okay? You have a great afternoon. All right, everybody, it sounds good. Um, let's see, what have, have I missed anybody? Brenda, you can make a video with a like and go to your library to retrieve it from multiple viewings while learning. Oh, that's, yeah. I didn't, Nancy, thank you for that. Guys, if, if you, if you, if there's a video, like when you're doing the Maxwell bag, okay, what you do is you save it so that it goes to your library and then you can go back and find it and keep viewing it over and over and over again. A lot of people, what I'm finding do with my videos is they actually say, you know, they watch them first through and then the second time after they've read their pattern, then they watch it again and they just pause it as they're doing that part. Because guys, that's how I make the videos. I actually sit down while I'm sewing and and I as I do a part I start recording then I go on to my next so you would be sewing right along with me yeah okay quick drink of water I'm getting out of breath guys mm hmm all right, guys, we are definitely getting to the end. We've been an hour already. Holy Toledo. I can't believe that. Yeah. Nancy said that's what she does. She does it exactly like that. Okay. Kaylee's home and back in business. Have a lovely week. N no, back, it's water. It's not vodka. It's <laughs>
<laughs> oh, good. Angela is also saying that her baby lock, she can sew through leather without any problems with that, and the baby lock's pretty heavy. I may check the baby lock out again at the next show I go to. I haven't looked at one in a couple of years. But quite honestly, this little machine of mine is doing so good, I still don't seem to need to need, you know, to upgrade it. I know, Arlene, the time goes by so fast. I'll never forget that first one that I did, how scared I was. Yeah. No, nope, not vodka, just plain old good water. Yeah. <laughs> My granddaughter, excuse me, is definitely laughing at me. I don't know why, but I am. She doesn't know why, but she is. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, prayers for our fellow members, please. Um, Deb, you order the tops with it. So I, um, this one does not have the casters. The one that holds my thread has the casters, and then I got the tops right along with it. So. Okay, and I put this set together. They're very easy to put together. All right, if anybody has any more questions, please feel free to email me at margaret at missmarkersquilts.com or message me on Facebook. Either one's fine, okay, guys? You guys have a fantastic week, and I will talk to you later. Oh, here comes Nat to say goodbye, too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye.